بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو دی فائنینشیل مینجمنٹ کلاس آئی ہوپ دیٹ آل آف یو آر فائن اینڈ ہیلدی دس از چیپٹر نمبر ٹو آف یور سبجیکٹ فائنینشیل مینجمنٹ اینڈ ڈسکشن از اباؤٹ دی بزنس انوائرمنٹ سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لیس ٹو ایکسپلین دیٹ واٹ از دی بزنس انوائرمنٹ and uh, in business environment our discussion is about the partnership type of business so if you remember we have uh, discussed already about the sole proprietorship uh, and in our earlier uh, video explains about the sole proprietorship that what is sole proprietorship and uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this business now we will move towards the uh, second top topic which are called the partnership yeah the second type of business uh, which are called partnership so dear students partnership mean sharakat uh, this is a business form in which two or more individual so keep in mind that here in this business there are two or more individual who will act as an owner dalta chide mong sara dua یا د دو نه زیات خلک وي هو ویل ډو اینډ هو ویل سټارټ دیئر بزنس ایز این اونر سو وی می کال ایٹ دیٹ ایٹ ایز آ پارٹنرشپ ٹائپ آف بزنس سو بزنس فارم ویئر ٹو آر مور پیپل آر ویئر ٹو آر مور انڈیویژول ایکٹ ایز این اونرس وی کین کال ایٹ دی پارٹنرشپ Dear students, uh, uh, in partnership type of business, the business income is accounted for each partner, personal income tax form. So this is the most important uh, thing that the income of business is uh, like for example calculated uh, as a personal income tax form. So uh, here individual will pay their taxes uh, on the basis of the personal income tax form mm, so in Afghanistan we will discuss later in uh, upcoming videos that how the partners how the corporate holders uh, yeah stakeholders or the shareholders and how the um, sole proprietors should pay their taxes we will discuss that in our uh, later videos two three days uh, later but keep in mind that in America they will pay their taxes as a personal income tax form and I mean individual uh, income tax form dear students according to the liabilities uh, partnership business uh, has been divided uh, into two types uh, there are two types of partnership partners uh, are the partnership business one is called general partnership and the other one is called uh, limited partnership but this partnership is on the basis of the liabilities so let's to explain that what is general partnership and what is limited partnership these are the two types of the partnership uh, businesses so keep in mind dear students once again i will explain you that this partnership yeah these types is on the basis of liability Uh, these two types is uh, on the basis of the liability so if you are uh, working in the general partnership or if you are involved in general partnership so this means that all partners of the business uh, all partners of the business will have unlimited liability yani uh, here discussion is about the limited and unlimited liability what does limited liability mean and what does unlimited liability mean dear students limited liability is the one limited liability is the one where we are like for example uh, liable we are like for example uh, obligated to all the risk uh, sorry um, to all the uh, Uh, the unlimited liability is the one that every partner of the business is liable to pay all the risk of the business this mean this mean if you are a limited liability holder your personal 
property is not in risk. Your personal home, your personal land, your other businesses without this business where you are working. If the business, if this business become liquidated, if this business become bankrupt, so only your invested capital is in risk. Mean the risk that you will bear, the loss that you will bear is limited towards your invested money. But if you are having title as an unlimited liability holder, this means that your invested money is already in risk. If the business loss is higher than the invested money, so you should pay this money from your own personal property, from your own, like for example, homes, uh, or from your other businesses. So that's why we may say here that this, this type of the partnership is general partnership and limited partnership. So general partnership is the one, general partnership is the one where the uh, business, uh, all partner of the business are having uh, the unlimited liability over here. Mean the business partners are obliged to pay the risk of the business uh, from their own personal properties if needed. So e each and every partner is liable to pay from their uh, the business obligation. The second one is called the limited partnership. Limited partnership, what does this mean? Limited partnership means that your invested money or your invested capital which has been contributed by you within the business, the business loss, the business uh, uh, risk is limited to towards it. In a risk of the business, of business, and also loss is uh, limited to your invested capital so this is what we may say that uh, the this is what uh, the limited partnership limited partnership so your money is, uh, yeah, your capital, uh, the business loss is limited to the partner um, invested capital. What they have invested within the business, it is limited to it. Second, at least this type of business and yeah, the limited partnership should have uh, a one person titled unlimited liability holder. Yeah, it must have uh, one person title general partner so as i mentioned earlier the general partners are the one who will pay all the obligation of the business from even from their personal property and i mean their liability is unlimited the business liability is unlimited towards them so we can call them general partners so general partners uh, and limited partnership we should have one general partner a limited partnership ki baat mangi general partner will and uh, the rest of the uh, partners uh, will have the limited liability but those who are titled as general partners they will have unlimited liability and i hope that i have clearly explained um, about the limited liability and unlimited liability once again i will tell you that if you are titled as an unlimited the limited liability holder so this mean that uh, uh, at the time of uh, bankruptcy your uh, personal property is not in risk but you if you are titled as an um, unlimited liability holder if you are titled as unlimited liability holder so then this mean that your personal property personal um, personal property property uh, is and risk if the business become liquidated liquidated or like for example bankrupt so you should pay the dues of the business yani you should pay um, pay the due of the um, business from your own capital 
یعنی د خپل شخصی کپیټل نه نه هم باید تاسو د بزنس ډیو سکړي پیکړي سو وی کین کال ایٹ ان لیمیټڈ لائبلٹی ہولڈرز سو ناؤ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لیٹس ٹو ایکسپلین اباؤٹ دی ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز آف دی پارٹنرشپ سو واٹ آر دی میجر ایڈوانٹیجز آف پارٹنرشپ وی مے سی دیٹ پارٹنرشپ از اے ٹائپ آف بزنس وچ از ڈیولپڈ اینڈ وچ از ویری ویری سمپل وی کین اسٹیبلش دس سمپلی ایٹ نیڈ لو کاسٹ لو سیٹ اپ کاسٹ اینڈ بٹ کیپ ان مائنڈ دیٹ دس سیٹ اپ کاسٹ از ہائر دین دی سول پروپرائٹرشپ دس مین دیٹ یس ایٹ از اے سمپل بزنس بٹ اسٹل ایٹ ناٹ دیٹ مچ سمپل دیٹ اصول دیٹ اصول پروپرائٹرشپ کڈ اسٹیبلش ایٹ نو ایٹ نیڈ لائک فار ایگزامپل بگ اماؤنٹ آف منی کمپیئر ٹو سول پروپرائٹرشپ کمپیئر ٹو کارپوریشن ایٹ از لٹل بٹ کوکلی سیٹ اپ اور وی کین کوکلی اسٹیبلش ایٹ بٹ ان کمپیریزن آف دی کارپوریشن ناٹ ان کمپیریزن آف سول پروپرائٹرشپ and uh, limited uh, the partnership is having one another um, advantage which are having limited liability for limited partner limited liability i mentioned already earlier that it is a type of obligation where your invested capital is in risk your personal property and other uh, businesses um, is not in risk so that's why we may say that here is limited liability but for the limited partners of the organization not for general partners so these are some of the uh, major advantages of the partnership that we have discussed I mean uh, one, once again simple business to, uh, to be established need lower cost compared to corporation but uh, higher than the sole proprietorship Uh, it is a relatively quickly set up need quick uh, and you can uh, set up this business very quickly but still uh, in comparison of sole proprietorship it is a bit difficult time consuming and lastly this is a type of business uh, it is one another advantage which is having limited liability for all the limited partners of the organization now we will move towards the uh, another um, topic which are called the disadvantages of this uh, type of business and now uh, what are the disadvantages are like for example the drawback of this type of business so the first drawback we may say that here is unlimited liability unlimited liability mean if the business uh, become liquidated or if the business were not able to pay their obligation so the general partners are those who are having unlimited liability they should pay these uh, losses these risks uh, or these money so that's why dear students we may say that it is one of the disadvantage of this type of business which is having unlimited liability for the general partners I mean the general partners uh, Mm, personal property is also in risk second dear students uh, mm, and and partnership type of business it is a bit difficult to raise additional capital so you cannot like for example mm, bring new investor without taking the consultation of the existing one uh, so this is one uh, one of the like for example drawback in the capital collection and uh, maybe the invested uh, partners have completed and they do not have like for example any more uh, capital yeah more money to invest in the business so that's why we may say that it is one of the drawback of uh, the uh, sole uh, the partnership type of business but keep in mind that uh, here many people will do business uh, so that's why we may say that it is uh, capital collection is uh, a bit easier than uh, the sole proprietorship because in sole proprietorship there is one person who will uh, start the business or who will invest capital but in partnership we uh, discussed earlier that there are two or more than two people uh, to invest their capital in the business and lastly dear students uh, it's having one another drawback which are called the the ownership transfer 
it is difficult uh, because you cannot transfer your ownership until and unless uh, you should take the consultation of all the partners so this was uh, the discussion about the uh, partnership type of business list to explain this in a bit um, national languages are in pushto and dari and dear students manga chide the tijarati muhit the amriki aw hamdarangi da ha mulkunu chi pagai bande amrika hukumat kade de pagai bane discussion ko the the venhan kitab dwem chapter na mang rafisti di dear students do the partnership pada se shakal tarif kade de chi partnership chide da ha qism the business te chi pagai ki dua ya do do na zyat malikan chide yani khbal business shuru kri ya faaliyat shuru kri موسیقی یعنی که چیر تا بزنس نقصان وکڑی یا بزنس تاوان وکڑی یا تجارت ورشکست شی یا بینکرپ شی نو دا بزنس طول اوبلیگیشن او یا دا بزنس طول لاسیس چی دی طول پارتنرانی باید پرداخت کری دا خبل شخصی پیسونا یا دا خبل شخصی نور تجارتونو نا یعنی هر یو پارتنر چی دی دا دا حق وزی پدا تو پی آل دی اوبلیگیشن آف دا بزنس دا دیزی که انلیمیتی لیبیلیتی خبر او شو خوبل قسم چې دی هغه ته لیمیټډ پارټنرشپ هم ویلې شي چې هغه کې د پارټنرانو باندې ټایټل خودلې شي چې لیمیټډ پارټنرز لیمیټډ پارټنرز هر هغه څوک دي چې هغه صرف وای چې زمونږ دا کم پیسې چې مونږ په تجارت کې سرمایه ګذاري کړې دي هم دغه لرو او د دې نه نور مونږ په بزنس لاس یا نه شو اکسپټ کولې نو دې ته لیمیټډ پارټنرز ویلې شي تا په دې معنا چې د دې کسانو که چېرته بزنس لاس کوي یا نقصان کوي د دوی خپل شخصي جایداد کور کالی او نور شیان چې دي په رسک یا خطر کې نه دي خو که چېرته انلیمیټډ ټایټل تاسو ولرلو نو ستاسو به شخصي جایدادونه او دا شیان په خطر کې دي خو بیا هم لیمیټډ پارټنرشپ په دې معنا نه دی چې هر یو کس ووایي چې زه لیمیټډ پارټنر یم بلکې دا باید خامخا یو انلیمیټډ پارټنر ولري یا جنرل پارټنر باید ولري په دې معنا که چېرته په فیوچر کې بزنس لاس کوي چې د یو کس یا یو څوک داسې وي چې هغوی وي چې یس آی ویل هیلپ یو این آی ویل ریکور یا آی ویل پی آل دی لاسیس آف د بزنس د خپل پرسنل پراپرټي نه زه د بزنس لاس پی کوم ان داسې یو کس باید پیدا شي پکې نو مونږ اوس راځو چې د دې بیان وکړو چې پارټنرشپ فائدې څه دي پارټنرشپ فائدې دا دي چې دا یو سمپل بزنس دی یو کم و پیسو تا ضرورت لری خو پا کمپیر دا سور پا پریٹرشپ بیا دیر و پیسو تا ضرورت لری او هم دارنگی دا چی دے پا دیری آسانی سارا پا دیزی سارا منگا دا بزنس اسٹابلش کولی شو یا جوڑا ولی شو او سالورا ما فایدہ دا دی بزنس دا دا چی دا لیمیٹڈ پارٹنران دا پارا دا لیمیٹڈ لیبیلیٹی لری خو نقصاناتی دا دی چی دا انلیمیٹڈ لیبیلیٹی دا جنرل پارٹنرز دا پارا لری یعنی عمومی پارٹنران چی سوگ دی دا غیر پارا نمحدود قرض لری یا لیبیلیٹی لری هم دارنگی یعنی ما نمحدود پا دی مانا چی دوی شخصی جایده دونا هم پا خطر کی دی که چیر تا بزنس و نشی کر لی چی دا خلق و قرضی پرداخ کری یا پی کری شخصی جایده دونا دوی هم پا خطر کی دی دوی باید دخبول شخصی جایده دونا دا دی آغا قرص ور کری دویما خبر پا که نقصان دا هم دی چی باز وقت که دا پیسو ضرورت وی نو پا آسانه سر دوی ایڈیشنل کپیٹل نشی لاست را وڑلی خو بیا هم دا سول پروپریٹرشپ پا نسبت بانده دوی که ولیشی چی ایڈیشنل کپیٹل پا آسانه سر لاست را وڑی او سر ورما خبر دا چی دا بزنس اونرشپ ترانسپر که ول چی دی دا پا دی که یو ڈیپیکل ٹاسک دی یعنی مانا دا چی بزنس اونرشپ چی دی یعنی مانا ون پرسن کن نات لائک پر اگزامپل ٹرانسپر دیر اونرشپ without the consultation of other partners the noor dostan of the consultation of the job ya da gay da mashuri na nishi ka wale chipa spal sarbandi ownership transfer ki 
so dear students i hope that you have understand about uh, this topic the partnership and if you have any question i am here to answer it